Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday. And I thought I would bring you along today with my day. There's not like too, too much going on today, but I just wanna have like a really productive day. This week is actually my last week teaching, which is crazy. That means like Friday, I'm done with my undergraduate career, whatever. So that's really crazy, but also really exciting. I'm ready to be done. Teaching online is so like mentally draining. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to be done, but it's also sad because, you know, saying goodbye like your students is always sad. But anyway, it is Wednesday, like I just said, so I am on a break right now. I just taught this morning. I did a read aloud and now I'm going to get some stuff done. So number one on my to-do list today is so random, but I need to get a new LinkedIn picture. Um, the picture that I have on LinkedIn is from senior year of high school and i'm now about to graduate college so four years ago honestly i don't even look that much different but um i definitely need to get a new one because obviously i'm applying to jobs right now and when potential employers go on my linkedin it's me as a fetus so i need to get a new one um so i'm gonna go ask my boyfriend if he will take a picture for me i don't really know what i want to wear but i did curl my hair and actually like somewhat get ready today so yeah, that's the plan. Maybe I'll give you some behind the scenes shots of me getting a picture, although I'm really awkward. So you might not want to see that, um, but we'll see. I'm gonna go try to convince him to take a picture of me. Not that I have to convince him, he's always willing. Um, and then figure out an outfit and then we'll go from there. Tell me you're awkward without telling me you're awkward. Okay, if one of those aren't good, I'm honestly gonna freak out because <laughs> I'm so awkward. Okay, now I need to go and edit those pictures, see if any are okay. And if they are, then I'll update my picture. And if not, then I'll go cry. So <laughs> just kidding, I won't cry. Okay, I'm gonna go edit. I'll let you know how they turn out. Alright, it's been a little bit. It is now 11.15 and I did pick a picture. Is it like the best I've ever looked? No. Um, and I'm not going to pop it up on the screen, but I got one. So that's good. I did that. I also just needed to take a thumbnail for a haul that's going to be coming out really soon. So I did that thumbnail. I took the pictures for that and then edited the thumbnail and updated it on like my youtube and now i am writing my daily to-do list i don't do this every single day on this whiteboard um sometimes i'll use like the notes app on my phone and i'll do like the checklist where you can actually like check it off on your phone but today my mind is just like a little bit scatterbrained what's new so i wanted to actually sit down and write a to-do list out <sighs> first i'm gonna breathe because i just find that like as dumb as it sounds this is like not rocket science like people know this but um when my brain is like cluttered i need to like write things out i need to like visualize what i need to do how my day is gonna look and it always just like helps me feel a little bit less stress or just like overwhelmed so um i've mentioned this like a bunch of times on my channel it was in a recent favorites video but this is my favorite thing ever it's a like glass whiteboard and it came with a stand which obviously i don't have on it right now it's really nice because it like looks really sleek and just like clean but um it works really well for like quick little notes and things like that so i have my whiteboard markers right here and i'm going to sit and write my to-do list i also like to write like my water intake or if i'm going to work out that day my workout like things like that just because again like visualizing it seeing it all down helps me like know okay this is what's next and so on and so forth also you can probably hear a train going by we live next to a train station um but anyway yeah that's what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna write it all out and then i will share it with you right after okay so i just finished i know this is a weird angle but i wanted to quickly share my to-do list so 
the top I wrote today and then I wrote today's date and then underneath that I have my to-do list yes I color code things it's the teacher in me but I'll start with the to-do list so we have I have a doctor's appointment at what time is it 3 30 I think and then I have vlog which I'm obviously doing right now I need to bleach the towels that we have in our bathrooms like our hand towels and our bath rugs because I washed them the other day and there must have been something in the wash even though like I didn't put any colored items in with them because they're supposed to be white but they're like brown now so I need to bleach those um I have make dinner and lunch I want to read chapters in my book I recently got a new book and I want to start it today um I go through like phases with reading I was super into it and then honestly like I just got busy but I want to get back into it because it's like super relaxing so I want to read two chapters in that I'm obviously teaching so I have a teach on here um, I need to pick up my dog from daycare I need to update my resume I just want to make it look a little bit nicer a little bit more professional um, and then I also put respond to comments because I just made a video live so I always like to go in and respond to every single comment and then I also put down my movement so today is a rest day but I still like to like do something whether it's like a quick yoga or something like that but today I want to go to walk it's super nice outside so I want to get outside and just go on a walk it always like is so relaxing and it's just makes me feel good so i want to do that i'll probably listen to like a podcast or listen to music while i do that and then i just have um, these little water droplets that is for me to track my water intake so um that is kind of what we have going on right now it is now 11 23 that took me like eight minutes ish and i have a break right now until 12 and then i'm teaching again um, until 1 30 and then i'm done for the day for teaching so i honestly don't know really what i want to do right now um i have like you know what no i do know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna read my book i'm gonna do that i'm gonna knock on my phone i'm gonna read my book and yeah i think that would be good i just got a new one actually and let me show you what i got okay it is oh my god okay it is called the silent patient by alex mckellett Michaelides, Michaelides. I'm absolutely butchering that, I'm sure. Um, but it is like kind of like a thriller book, which I don't think I've ever read a thriller. Actually, no, I definitely haven't read a thriller, but I'm like kind of into that stuff. I think it's like kind of interesting. Like I always watch like, I'm gonna sound like crazy, but like I always watch like murder documentaries or like things like that. I just like find it kind of interesting and like terrifying, but also interesting. So um, yeah, I wanna read this. It was a New York Times bestseller. But honestly, like, don't they, like, say that about every book nowadays? I feel like every book you pick up, it says New York Times bestseller. I'm excited to read this. So, I'm gonna do that, and then I'll check in after teaching. I don't need to tell you when to check in. I should just check in, but I, like, over-explain. So, yeah. Okay. See you in a bit. Interesting. This book is gonna be good. I just know it. Oh, I'm excited. I read two chapters, and it, it's... It's good so far. It's about this, um, this is a terrible angle, but it's about this woman who is like madly in love with her husband. She has like a really good marriage with her husband and um, he like treats her really well and like all this stuff. They're both artists. And um, one day, she, like the neighbor hears gunshots and the police show up at her house and she had killed her husband. And ever since that day, she's been mute. She doesn't talk anymore. And so like there's this um, like psychotherapist I think and he's trying to like, figure out like what happened, why, why is she new and all that stuff. So it's, it seems like it's going to be interesting. If any of you are into books then you should read this too and then we can like chat about it. That would be fun. But yeah. Okay, on to the next. is 3 20 i finished teaching for the day and then i went on a little walk i got a few clips but um i was just trying to like enjoy the moment and now i just drove to my sorry my car was switching off i just drove to my doctor's appointment if you saw one of my recent videos i was talking about how i like always have a stomach ache no matter what a lot of people in the comments were actually being super helpful and a few people dm'd me so thank you if that was you that really meant a lot and it was very helpful and sweet but today i have my actual doctor's appointment which i am excited for just to kind of see like what's going on see if 
it's normal, which like, again, I don't think it's normal, but see if like, there's anything that can be done really. I've never been to the doctor, so I don't really know what to expect. Um, I have a feeling that they're gonna tell me to keep a food log, which I had been doing. Um, I did it for probably like four days, and then honestly I stopped, which I shouldn't have done. I should have kept going. My mom would be mad at me if she knew I stopped. Hi, mom. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna head inside. It's 3.20, my appointment's at 3.30. And it's my first time here, so I'm sure I'll have to like fill out paperwork or something like that. So I will update you after and we'll see what they said. I'll let you know. I just got back in the car for my appointment and I wanted to give a little update because I said I was going to. So he thinks it's IBS, which like, I don't know, I feel weird like saying that and broadcasting this through the internet, but I don't know if anyone else struggles with this, then maybe like this will be helpful. So he did a blood test today and then I have to come back on June 6th for, I'm looking at my like discharge papers. I have to come back on June, I have to come back on June 6th for an ultrasound. I don't know exactly why he wanted to do that, but he wants to do an, ul an ultrasound of my abdomen. So He's gonna do that and he said if it is just IBS then he can just prescribe me a medication and it'll be like a daily pill I'm pretty sure um, but I was like oh yeah like I've been tracking my foods because um, like I thought that's what I was supposed to do and he was like oh like you don't need to track your food like it has nothing to do with what you eat and it, he like <laughs> he was like very interesting um, he's really nice but he was like drawing diagrams and like I don't know asking about like my life but he was saying that like what we eat he was like your stomach doesn't see what you eat what's in your stomach is food it doesn't matter if it's a banana or if it's like a piece of candy and he was like the only thing that like the only way you know what you're eating is from your eyes your taste and your smell so he was like after you put it in your mouth and you swallow it like it shouldn't really matter what you're eating in the sense that like your stomach shouldn't really be hurting you so like I get that but I also don't get that because like if I'm eating like hot cheetos every day then like when my stomach hurt i don't really know but it was just interesting to hear that so that's kind of how it went um i kind of have to wait just to get the blood work back and then once i know i can again update you guys if this is interesting probably not but now i need to go to the grocery store i need to pick up a few things for dinner we're making like a um spanish chicken and rice dish or something i don't know my boyfriend found it i wanted to try it so we're doing that for dinner so i need to grab a few things and then i need to go pick up puppy from daycare so off we go I wanted to do a quick haul of what we picked up. So, or I picked up, I went on. We got low sodium chicken broth for tonight's recipe. Paprika, because we ran out, also for tonight's recipe. Then I got two of my kombuchas. One is my favorite flavor, golden pineapple. And one I've never tried, but it is in cosmic cranberry. So I wanted to give it a shot. Then I got coconut water, because I want to put this in my smoothies. Have you ever put coconut water in your smoothies? My definition of smoothies and your are like two different things, so no. I haven't put coconut water in anything that has my protein powder in it, that's your question. All you meant to say was no. Well, I gave you the long and short of it. No. <laughs> Who starts okay. off with showing them paprika? Are you sure the good stuff works? <laughs> okay, the good stuff that he's talking about. Give it to me, please. <laughs> Stop. Give it to me. <laughs> Sound effects are not needed. Our double stuffed Oreos. Yes, we did already dig into these. I had two. How many did you have? Two. Going on three. Going on three. Yeah. I'm not a huge Oreo person, but. Uh, she has two. I know, I know. No, no, no. What? You were the one who opened it. No, I know, because like every once in a while, like, I'll have one or two, but then I'm like set for like three years. You know? That's a. That's. That's just an overstatement. No, no, I'm when, was, when do you ever see me eat Oreos? Okay, I'm gonna get one every week and prove you wrong. Okay, go for it. Anyway, moving on. I also got this, it's called Stir. It's like a liquid water enhancer. I used to have this all the time. Remember this? Yes. But it's like a flavor thing you put in your water, but this one is like less crap than like Crystal Light, for example. I got two apples. I got six bananas, but I already put them away. Then I got the from the ground up cauliflower crackers, the cheddar flavor. I thought these were gonna taste like cheese it Cheez Its, and I tried them in the car and they don't taste like it. Do you wanna try it? No, no, remember those um, pretzels I got that you liked? It's the same brand, but look at them. Wait, let me, hold on, look at this. That's like not a Cheez It, it's like flat, it's weird. They're not bad, but they don't taste like Cheez Its. They more taste like um, 
flavor blasted goldfish, like stale flavor blasted goldfish. Do you know what I mean? Do you the feel? Stale part is accurate. Look, I don't know. Oh, thank you. Okay, last thing I got is um, Italian parsley because we also need it for tonight's recipe. So, do you have the recipe up? Are you ready yes. to cook? Yes. Okay, we're gonna cook. He's doing, we have to make like a seasoning mix. We're making Spanish chicken and rice, which have you ever had that? I'm about to. Okay, so he hasn't had that. You could just answer the question, you know. I did. Okay. He hasn't had that. I haven't had it either. So first we have to make like a Spanish seasoning mix. So he's doing that and I need to prep the chicken. Okay. Okay, I have my chicken in here. Now I am adding one tablespoon of canola oil and I am gonna like coat all the chicken. Now I need to put the seasoning on when you're done. Well, half of that. I put half the prepared seasoning, it says. He just finished the spices. So I'm adding half of this in. I think that's like half. I'm gonna, okay, this is good. I have my large skillet here. I'm adding one more tablespoon of canola oil. Drizzle that in. You wanna like shake that pan up? There. Spread the oil. We're adding the chicken in. Uno. Shouldn't there be a hot. sizzle? <laughs> yeah, it definitely was not hot. We're letting this cook for three minutes and then we're gonna flip it into the other side for two to three minutes. Flip time. Stop. Ooh, that is good. Uh, that looks really good. All right, we're adding rice now. The recipe says white rice, but we're using brown rice. So we have one half of a cup of brown rice. Then we're doing one cup of low sodium chicken broth. And then we need an eighth of a cup. So I'm doing half of a quarter. Quarter of a lemon. And the remaining spice mix. I'm giving it a stir. Now we're adding the chicken back on top because the chicken isn't cooked through. It was kind of just to like sear it. And then we're gonna cook it on medium covered for 20 to 25 minutes and then we'll just like monitor it. We're taking a break from cooking so I need to show you how excited he gets. Are you ready for your dinner? Come on. Let's go. The waterfall. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Ooh, baby. Watch out. Also, we got this new dog bowl it's from Amazon. My boyfriend got it. It's a puzzle bowl and it's the best because it takes him longer to eat his food. So, highly recommend. It's in my Amazon store. So he's like, stop talking and give me my food. Okay, come on. Ready, sit, wait. Okay. He's so cute. You know? Definitely looks really good. It's done. We ended up adding a little bit more chicken broth to the pan because it needed it. But this is what it looks like. I think it looks really good. Taste test. Ready, Freddy. The rice is cooked. The rice has a really good flavor. Oh yeah, we didn't even check. The rice has a really good flavor. It's really good. I do wish the chicken had like more flavor. You know what I mean? I feel like if they were like a sauce, like this sauce, almost like that's on the rice. It's really good though. Mm -hmm. I'd make it again. Would you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 100. I'll link the recipe down below. Highly recommend. Look at how blurry my camera is. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Well, now you do. You're so smart. Look at how cute he is. I'm coming on to end this video. Um, I think it's long enough, I don't know, but we'll see when I'm editing. I started editing, but I didn't get a chance to finish. I was gonna go through my to-do list and show you what I did and didn't accomplish, but Honestly, I'm tired and I just want to like relax and take off my makeup and eat something not healthy, but that's okay. This chicken and rice was really, really good. Highly, highly recommend making it. Chicken was a little bit dry, but we used brown rice instead of white rice. So um, we think that the brown rice like absorbed more, but we just wanted to use brown rice. But anyway, I really, really recommend it. It was delicious. The flavors were really good. The seasoning was delish. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, then I would love for you to subscribe and I will see you in my next video video. He will see you then too. Okay. Bye.